Shannon Burns, who plays at Bob, we're actually in a shop window here, which has been dedicated entirely to all things uh, Stranger, if you like. The fans are outside already, and the reason that they're here... <laughs> The reason that they're here is because they've actually won a competition to binge race all nine episodes. That's nine episodes of the latest season of Stranger Things, which is extraordinary. 8.01 when the series drops. The doors of Topshop will open and the fans will flood in to watch it. Um, are you going to sit and watch it, <laughs> Shannon? I don't know if I have the time, actually. I'm quite busy today, but I know that like, when I get home tonight, I'm sure that I'll just watch the whole thing. That's what I did when the first season came out, too. You did indeed. Now, you met a very grisly end uh, in, in, the, in the first season. <laughs> um, hence the reason the hashtag justice for Barb is trending. <laughs> and also, never forget... Bob. Never Shannon, forget. you're on a t-shirt. You've made it. I know. I, I've, I'm on a t-shirt. I have like a little pop figurine. I feel like that's, I've peaked. Like, <laughs> this is so it. You can actually collect yourself, put yourself in an attic for 20 years and you will actually be worth more than you are now. Huh. Think about yeah, it. Yeah, right? That's don't, a good idea. If I ever... Don't unwrap your figurine. No. If Case I... in point. Um, collectibles <laughs> aside though, the phenomenon is extraordinary, isn't it? I mean, here we are, you know, just a year or so after the first season uh, drop, And we've got Will Byers' uh, living room set up in Topshop. We've got uh, Winona Ryder's uh, handiwork. This is Amazing. how she communicated with Will, of course, when he went uh, to the Upside Down world uh, with the Demi Gorgon. Yeah. I mean, how'd you feel? It's the strangest thing. I mean, no Every pun intended, pun intended. <laughs> of course. No, but I, I mean, I remember watching Winona do this scene, like, you know, banging nails into the wall and hanging up all the lights and... It's so surreal that we're here now and that it's become this, this kind of phenomenon that it has. And also for you as well, uh, Barb, though short-lived, has garnered sort of cult status. I mean, there are <laughs> fans outside wearing Barb wigs. They're all here to see you today as well. <laughs> Do you get recognised when you're out and about? Not a lot, no. I, I think when I'm out of like my 80s regalia, uh, people don't, don't really expect me to be Barb, but... I do feel like if I ever like popped on a pair of glasses, people might might be able to see it. They might get it. You've also been to Comic Con in San Diego, which is the mother of all Comic Cons. Yes, it's a whole new world. What was that like? <laughs> Incredible. I mean, I think there were like over fifty thousand people there, and it's absolutely absurd in the best way that so many people are are in love with nerdy things and gather together, I think it's wonderful. Yeah, myself included, absolutely. Brilliant. Well, we're going to carry on nerding and geeking uh, here uh, on Oxford <laughs> Street. The fans have actually just entered oh, oh, now oh. to start. I mean, binge watching was one thing, but now apparently the thing is this binge race. Oh, absolutely. Nine hours out of your life, you're never going to get back. But I'm in the <laughs> best of company to sit down and watch the next season of Stranger Things, as I say.